Hello everyone, welcome to our digital box. My name is Orkun. I'm working as an industry manager at Ed Colony. Uh, my industries are automotive, e-commerce, retail, clothing, and transportation. And today, John is with me. Uh, John, could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, hello everyone. I am John. Uh, you may know me from the previous videos. Uh, I am working as Max marketing executive at Colony. And uh, today, we're gonna talk about holiday shopping survey with Orkun. Yes, uh, exactly. We're gonna talk about holiday, uh, upcoming holiday season, uh, Christmas and New Year. Actually, we have conducted a, a holiday shopping survey in EMEA region uh, over 10 countries, and we're gonna have a take a closer look at uh, changing perspectives on consumers' uh, buying behavior in this shopping uh, period. So, if you're ready, I'm gonna shoot the first question. So we, we talk about this uh, buying uh, decisions and preference changes on this whole day shopping. Uh, what are the shopping preferences changes and trends? Uh, well, it's not a big secret that uh, 2020 has been one of the roughest year for everyone around the world. And it seems that this holiday season will be different than the previous ones. Uh, while countries are uh, going back to quarantine and starting lockdowns again, uh, in not just in Europe, but all around the world, uh, even during pandemic as pandemics and lockdowns, uh, people don't want to miss the opportunity to experience the most awaited time of the season, of the year, which is holiday shopping season, which is a Christmas and New Year celebration. Uh, when we look at the results of our survey, 64% uh, of the respondents stated that they will shop for Christmas and New Year's. But uh, they, of course, uh, there will be some expectations have changes compared to the previous years. 20% uh, of the respondents said that they are looking for safety and that is totally underst understandable when we think about the uh, situation that we are going through right now. Uh, with this pandemic, uh, lots of people having financial troubles for many various reasons. So 15% uh, of, of the respondents paying attention to the pricing when it comes to the shopping. And 20% of the respondents say that they are looking for safety. And this is like, they don't want to risk their lives while doing shopping. So this is also very understandable results. Uh, and uh, most importantly, uh, majority of the respondents, which is uh, 43%, stated that they want convenience. They want to reach the product uh, easily and fast. Like we all know, online shopping skyrocket during uh, lockdown and uh, since the beginning of the pandemic for any kind of purchases uh, we use uh, online shopping and this trend seems to continue like 64% uh, of the respondents in email region states, states that uh, this year they will do holiday shopping uh, through online yes I definitely agree uh, that it's it's been a tough year, maybe toughest year so far uh, for all of us, and also this brings an emotional year as well, uh, since we are we have been social distance from each other and uh, we missed out birthday significant events and gathering together, so therefore this has a huge impact on the shopping behavior because this Christmas and New Year season is much more valuable to the user. And therefore, 22% uh, of people are uh, actually started looking for uh, gifts, uh, products, <clears throat> three, six months earlier. And according to our research, we are expecting uh, around 30% online sales increase in Q4. And actually, 42% of uh, people are going to spend the same amount compared to last year, and 27 of them will actually spend much more and increase their budgets uh, for this year. It's very interesting data and I totally agree with your uh, comments. Also, I'm, I'm moving forward to the mobile devices and it's, it's rising. Uh, and what's for, according to our, you know, um, knowledge, what's, um, 
which devices do they prefer when it comes to, to shopping online? Yeah, well, it's not a surprise that as well as expected, smart, smartphones are the consumer's top choice with 55% uh, when it comes to making purchases. Uh, like even our grandparents are using smartphones right now during these days. Uh, they learned how to do order online because of the pandemic, because they can't go outside. And also desktops and laptops are also preferred by 24% of the consumers because they are the, you know, the classic devices. But uh, compared to the smartphones, it's really uh, low. And also uh, online has a lot of advantages compared to the in-store shopping, like they have home delivery. 48% uh, of the consumers primary plan is to order online and uh, to make home delivery for their purchases. Uh, even during the pandemic, 33% uh, of the respondents stated that they want to shop in store because uh, I think they want to feel the and live the holiday season separate. And uh, even, if, even if they shop in store, 74% uh, of them thinks that to have their mobile devices with them while shopping in, in store is very important for different various reasons like to compare prices or taking pictures with the product they want to buy so that is also totally understandable uh, on the other hand uh, people want to want convenience as i mentioned before to shop safely uh, it's no secret that shopping apps provide us uh, all of this when we ask if if they prefer to shop in-app or through their mobile browser, 42% of the consumers states that they prefer in-app over their uh, mobile browser uh, because apps are more easy to use, easy to navigate. So that is also totally understandable. 62% uh, of the consumers also want to experience easy to navigate app or online store experience while uh, easy payment process is very important for them because uh, they want to uh, pay fast, they want to, they want to trust the company that they are buying their products through online. So 36% uh, of the consumers uh, states that they want to, they want easy payment process during their online shopping experience. Uh, and also um, consumers also prefer online over in store because most of the times online has better deals. Online has a uh, sales, more campaigns compared to the in-store products also more size more size color options and etc they can find whatever they want which color they want which product uh, which size they want through online much more easy uh, and also because of this holiday season people not just want to shop for themselves but they want to buy gifts for their loved ones like 60% uh, of the respondents say that they have purchased gifts for others on their mobile devices, which is, I think, is enough to see how important is the mobile. So the best part of New Year and Christmas is giving and receiving gifts. And my question is, how do users plan on giving gifts during pandemic and which products especially? Yeah. Uh, like you said, the best part is giving and receiving gifts during holiday season. Uh, and uh, this pandemic may have changed a lot of things, but it didn't change the, how people plan on giving gifts. Uh, for example, according to our survey, 44% uh, of the consumers, which is almost half, uh, states that they will ship the gifts to their own homes and ex exchange them with their loved ones later. Uh, this shows that uh, people want to spend time with their families, friends, partners and want to forget everything uh, this uh, tough year by spending time with their loved ones and exchanging gifts with them face to face. But in some cases, they might, they might, they might not happen. Hopefully, only, only for this year, hopefully we will receive and uh, get gifts from, from loved ones face to face next year when the pandemic is gone. But this year also 33% uh, states that they will ship the gifts to their homes and will ship the recipients by themselves if they don't have chance to meet them face to face and spend time with them. Uh, when we look at the consumers purchases this year, the top purchases are uh, of course clothes, electronics, 
this is also very understandable because we are spending more time at home because we need some tools and time, some things to spend more time at home and also books and home goods are the top purchases during this holiday shopping season so on top of your um, comments on the um, you know plans on giving gifts during this pandemic is um, we are receiving a lot of personal gift um, gifting it's very crucial this time to to give your loved ones as personal gifts and furthermore we we have been um, apart from each other for a long time and we were staying at home so it's very important for us to change some of our interior design at home and you know furnitures and house decorations are also very important um, in this shopping season and people are planning on you know buying s small gifts uh, for these uh, type of um, items So, of course, the, the most important part for brands is actually catching users' attention with their campaigns. Uh, what kind of effect did the mobile ads have on uh, users' purchase behavior? Yeah, yeah, sure. Uh, as I mentioned earlier, uh, rise of the mobile is unstoppable and it will grow each and every day, every year. And brands can set their marketing strategies around mobile. Uh, for example, according to the independent research company Global Web Index, 84% of the internet users in MA region play games on at least one device. And this, is, this can be an amazing way to catch their target audiences by using the power of the mobile games for the brand side. Uh, when we look at the results of our holiday shopping survey, 48% uh, of the respondents states that uh, they have made purchase on their mobile device based on the advertising they, they saw while using it, which is very a huge number. Uh, also, 64% uh, of the respondents say that they will purchase something on, the, on their mobile devices directly from an advertisement if the product was, is relevant to them. So, uh, for the brands, it's important to catch their target audiences with the relevant uh, products. Uh, on the other hand, uh, total 77% of the uh, users stated that mobile ads have major or moderate impact on their purchasing behavior. This is also a very huge number and this, this is a proof to the uh, impact of the mobile advertising uh, for the brands. Uh, Another data I can mention is like the 37% of the users purchasing the product after a few days they saw the ad. So this is very a short notice of time, time uh, and this is very important for the brands too. Uh, mobile ads is a great way to catch the user's attention, especially the time when we are all spending more time at home uh, more than ever because of the lockdown and the pandemic. And uh, Orkun, I also would like to ask you one question that I really want to learn. Uh, what are the strategies to catch the user's attention from the brand side uh, during a uh, holiday shopping season? As both of, our, uh, both of us echo on the emotional side of this uh, holiday shopping season, uh, brands already know that it's going to be a, a tough year and this is going to be a very very valuable season a uh, whole day shopping season so they actually prepared um, commercials rather on focusing uh, product line and items they more they focus more on um, their social message gathering together emotional uh, Christmas year and it's a, it's going to be a hopeful optimistic new year so for example some some examples that I uh, come come to my mind is like Burberry's all singing all dancing or Zalando's we will hug again commercials are very good uh, examples uh, and we see a good social message optimistic social message this is a, a strategy to acquire user for the long term uh, to create a brand loyalty uh, since we talk about brand loyalty it's it's getting actually less and less each day since uh, we are talking about mobile ads but user from the user's perspective they expose mobile ads a lot and uh, from variety of brands each day which creates a, a little bit of uh, distraction and 
the the you know decision process is uh, getting more and more since they are as exposed to much more uh, scope um, so it's the highlight here is uh, for users to complete the whole video uh, ad is very important because the social message of the brand is not just somewhere at the video it's the whole uh, video that they want to show the experience so especially in the rewarded video zone it's very critique that uh, the whole video is unskippable and it's the watched completely it's an advantage for the brand side thank you today john for your contribution and thank you all for listening us um, please don't forget to like and comment to our video and subscribe our digital box channel uh, you can also listen our podcast on Spotify and uh, iTunes podcast. Thank you for watching. Thank you. Bye.